Hello, good morning. Welcome to this mid-morning taste challenge. We have two blended Scotch whiskeys. One is very famous. The other one is not very famous at all. This is, although the store is famous, this is Valentine's Finest. And I like how they call it their finest, even though it's like their cheapest one. All right, Valentine's Finest blended Scotch whiskey, no age statement in the nice glass brown bottle, which protects it from light damage. It's got the flag of Scotland on it. Well, actually, two Scottish flags and a griffin and a, a barrel and a copper pot still and a shock of barley or wheat and like a river and two horses since 1827. Yeah, Valentine's 1827. But this current one, the finest, they say, stays true to the recipe since 1910. Uh, they're saying stay staying true to the recipe, not the identical recipe, because I know I'm uh, looking at old ads. It used to be at like 86 proof. And now it's 80 proof. <laughs> All right. It's from Shivas Brothers. And the competitor is Trader Joe. This was like twenty three dollars for the handle. I think that's what it was. Twenty three dollars. Similar in price to. um. Not grants. That was cheap. Um, I can't remember. I was going to compare it to another one I had bought for about 23. I can't remember the one. All right. Anyway, blended Scotch whiskey. This is Trader Joe's. In, in Louisiana, Trader Joe's sells liquor and in other states. And this is their house brand, their private label. Blended Scotch whiskey, aged three years. And on the back, it says they produced it the way we told them to produce it, you know, as a contract. Age three years blended to our specifications. So Trader Joe's, owned by Aldi, says to whoever the contractor is, make it like this. And they say, okay. And I think they said, make it very compost pile tasting, like a peat compost pile. And they said, you mean like rotting vegetables and rotting eggs and stuff like that? That's the that's what we want. And they say, you got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Now, Valentine's has like a honey flavor, I noticed. Sweet honey flavor. Somebody told me that's trash. I say trash. Well, I love I must love trash because built-in pour. You gotta watch these built-in pours. They'll pour see it pour too much. Well, not quite nearly so. A little bit too much. It's the Trader Joe's is more our um amber and the Valentine's is more golden. But they're not that different in appearance. Well, I love this Valentine's. This might be the best inexpensive blend of scotch I have. Now I'm not kidding about that. From the ledge, I like it more than Shiva's Regal 12. Also from obviously from Shiva's Brothers. That one was just so dull. I think Valentine's has a nice sweetness. Now, they have like a 12-year age and a 15-year age, and there's like a Valentine's 38, 30-year 30 age. There's so many. I've never seen them around here. What have I seen in Louisiana from Valentine's? Well, I've seen Valentine's Finest and nothing else. I'm not kidding. I'm not trying to make a joke or be flip or sarcastic. I've just never seen any other Valentine's product around here. Do they exist? Oh, yeah, they exist. I don't know if they're sold over here, though. It just may be, maybe like New York and Boston get it. They may not go south of Philadelphia or something. You know, I'm just, just guessing. I don't know. But let's see our range. But this is the range for the U.S. because I'm on the U.S. website. You know, they got different websites for different countries. So that changes, yeah, depending on the nation. Or the country. Uh, Valentine's Finest, that's what I have, obviously. There's a Shauna X limited edition. That's just a special label for some um, performer. Okay, that's it's not different. Valentine's 12 year old. Valentine's 17 year old. See, but there's more than those. Those are a lot, but there's more. There's more. There's more. It's just that they don't send them over here. 
but that's all right because we're not uh, short of whiskey in the United States. We we flooded with it, which is why stores have big discounts. I was at um, Matherns yesterday, and they had a major discount all across the board: gin, rum, all kind of bourbons. They just slash it, you know, sell them for half price. I bought a gin to give to my daughter because she likes gins. It was like $15.99. Normally that thing would be um, much higher. Let me look it up. I'm, I'm going to look it up right now what, what that thing would cost. Um, we're total one and one. Ford's gin, I think it's called. Ford's. Got nothing to do with Ford Motor Company. I don't think. Ford's. Yeah, here we go. From London. That's what I bought her, the London Dry. $30 and I got for $15.99. See what I mean? They just slash the prices. Just <laughs> hey, bet she's gonna love that stuff. All right, so but I didn't buy anything for myself because A, I don't need it. And there is no B. I don't need it. I got too much now. So there's no, there's no B. If every store around here suddenly started discounting everything by 70%, I don't think I'd buy anything. Because I, 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 if you came to this house and you saw this collection, you'd say, whoa, whoa, time out. You need to cool it. And I would say, you're right. I am cooling it. I've got brands to last i mean years for tastings and taste challenges half the stuff's never been open i got all kind of rum vodka tequila liqueurs bourbon unreal and so when i see these new bourbons come out do i want to buy them well yeah i want to buy them oh look at that i said no no scotch oh look at that single malt well i got a whole big Shelf of single, I got a whole shelf of single malts, none of them opened. Eight year age, 10 year age, sherry cask, port wine cask, bourbon cask. It's like, uh uh, not buying it. I'll just save the money. Maybe I'll go on a trip to Europe. <laughs> I would like to go to Europe. I'd like to go to Hawaii. All right, well, anyway, enough of that jibber jabber, jibber jabber. This smells like um, cereal grain. So you say uh, you say the same thing every video because they always smell like the same thing every video. All right, if it smelled like something different, I would say it. If it's not, I'm not. Now sometimes it's got a honey thing or pee or smoke. Whatever. Okay, so I'll talk about it. I'm not going to make up descriptors just to make it different. I don't do that. Okay, I'm not. I will not. It's like I, I do beers. This beer, that beer, this beer, that beer, this beer. One after the other, like in a, a typewriter. You know, somebody typing as fast as they can. But generally, the scores are around the same. Well, because that's what they score. I'm not going to. Say, oh, well, uh, I got too many A's. I'm going to throw in some C's in there and some D's to uh, mix it up. No, no. No, no. This is not going to be contrived or fake. It's going to be real. And if every video I do has an A- minus for the next 25 years, then that's what it's going to be. Every beer having an A-. minus. It's unlikely to happen, but it's. Um, I bet you'll be a lot of those in there, a lot of A's and A-. Minuses. Uh, Honestly, on the aroma, I do not know. This might have some more honey and peat, but it's close, and I'm not going to fight it out. I'm just going to taste it out. So I got four wins and two losses. Got it right four times, got it wrong twice. Yeah. That's not the greatest, but... I'm trying to improve my average here. That's got to be Valentine's. Got to be Valentine's. 
because it's got this sugary like fondant flavor like they put on the cakes that fondant they gotta let it set and age what do you call it a uh, cure like you get an adobe ash cake fondant like an adobe ash cake i'm telling you it's got that and it ain't no way trader joe's got that flavor and i did old bottles of valentine that somebody gave me from the 1970s i I think I was able to determine they were from the year 1970. I tried them two years ago. And I guess they're right. They're staying true to the recipe because it tastes exactly the same in those little 100 milliliter bottles, brown bottles. And I said, find it. Of course, they had the little tax stamp on them where they, they don't require that since 1983. But um, I guess the tax is like counted in the UPC code, it somehow registers that the tax was paid or something. I don't know. But they don't have to have that tax stamp anymore for 40 years now. This is sweet, too. Um, hmm, not tasting that uh, compost pile. But I'm smelling it. Uh, maybe it has that in the taste. It's the Trader Joe's blended scotch bursting with flavor. It's not bursting with flavor. It's not flavorless. It's not like you taste it and it tastes like nothing. And you say, well, it was $10.99 a liter, so it tastes like nothing. It, it, it's, that's not the truth. It has flavor. It has character. It has little things about it. But it's sort of like generalized. It's a generalized flavor. And that's probably what they were shooting for because they want to Oh, uh, well, what it is, a store brand, private label scotch. That would appeal to most everybody. That's not too picky, you know. You say, well, it's Trader Joe's. People that shop there aren't too picky because look at the kind of beer they sell. Uh, yeah, I guess there's some truth to that. So smooth. A little wood bite at the end, though. And um, that um, fondant thing. All right, so I'm going to say this is the, the Valentine's is better to me. Although not as much better, it not it there's not as big of a differential as I thought there was going to be when I, I launched this video. I thought it was going to be a much bigger um, difference. But I'm um, not seeing that. But I still, I prefer the Valentine's. So. But that's the Trader Joe's. Man, these things got me so mixed up. Four and three. Four wins, three losses. Woo. <laughs> well. Yeah. Hey, Valentine's, my mind is playing tricks on me. Well, I'll tell you, it's funny about that. That's what's so important about the blind taste test, because you got these ideas, oh, this is that, and this tastes like that, and I'm not going to deviate, and I know it, and it's down pat, and I got it nailed, and oh, they got a three, a $10.99 liter bottle, and it's trash just to put on the shelf but uh, it is isn't turning out that way i've done seven challenges and i got four right and three wrong you say well it's because you're doing a terrible job and it could be that but i really think it's that the trader joe's blended scotch whiskey is a is one that can battle it can it can hold its own even though my perception as well as yours would be that it wouldn't hold its own, that, you know, it just wouldn't make it. That was my impression. I thought, eh. it will be something to try, but it's not going to be worthwhile in a, in a, you know, in an overall sense. It's like I could have saved the 1099 and I wouldn't have lost much, but I did buy it and it's doing much better than I had first believed. And I thought for sure, I mean, I was just convinced this thing is going to be, oh, knocked out the park, you know, it won't even be close. So, but um, yeah, 
Yeah, uh, Hunter Pipers. Now, to, in my in my memory, I do so many of these, but in my memory, I think that the Hunter Pipers does have that smoky. It's not noticeable out front. It's more of a reserved thing, held back. But there is a smoky component to the Hunter Pipers, and I think that will separate them, which would put me at five and three rather than four and three. But um, but I don't know that because I haven't done the challenge. Now, then I'm going to branch off into, uh, oh, I got still have doers to do. Can't see getting it confused with doers, but I don't know. Doers is pretty bland, right? And then doers 12 year, can't see that happening. Doers 12 year is so much more advanced. Um, but um, now at this point, I'm not too convinced. Um, got Johnny Walker blue, uh, red label. Johnny Walker double black. Johnny Walker gold label reserve. Let's not forget about Buchanan's deluxe 12 year age. Can't see that happening. And I've got the uh, dimple pinch. I think I have enough dimple pinch left for one more challenge, but that's it. That one's kind of bland. I'll tell you, it's age 15 years. 15 years age, and it's still relatively dull. Now, but maybe it's because they took a dull scotch and aged it for 15 years, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Hi, Lana. Maxwell. Hello, Ron. Hello to you, Maxwell, in the Russian Federation. Well, maybe you could tell these apart better than I am able to, but uh, I'm not having any success. I'm not having any kind of good success here. Uh, if I'm going to do blind taste challenges, I have to live with it, right? I mean, I'm taking that risk. I watch a lot of other people on YouTube. They do taste challenges, but they got the bottles or, of whiskey or beer in front of them, and they're, they know which is which, you know, and they're saying, you know, oh, yeah, this Imperial Stout. Oh, it's a lot better than this. Imperial Stout, and I'm thinking, yeah, but you know which is which. Could you really tell them apart in a blind taste test? Well, I don't know if they could because they don't do it. <laughs> do I see a lot of blind whiskey taste challenges or brandy or other liquor? Um I mean, I'll see them here and there. I don't see them too much. Is there a worth, worth, a worthiness to them? There is a worthiness to them because, like I said earlier in the video, you don't really know until you do the exercise. And and you could you could think, I know it, I know it, I know this. I drank this in 1987. Uh, my grandpa drank. I know it, I know. It. But you just you thinking that, but until you demonstrate it, you can't really say it. So, uh, but those are the ones I got coming up. I know I've probably left a couple of them out that I overlooked, but I'll scour the collection and see. I want to make sure I don't overlook anything before we jump off into a whole nother class of liquor called brandy, cognac and brandy. Well, cognac is a type of brandy. Don't know what to think about the one I have. I know it's a brand that's been around, oh, about 25 years. No, I think over 30 years. I don't know what the date on it means. May not mean anything. They might have just put it on there because it sounded old. I really don't know. But I think I know. I think there was a brandy from a long time ago called 1889 brand, 1889 classic or something brandy. Saw old ads for it. And, uh, oh, I don't know, something happened and it came under the Heaven Hill control, it looks like, like Heaven Hill got a hold of it uh, and they just sell it out there as a cheap, cheap old thing. But uh, I did buy a handle of it and uh, it was like $17.99, but we'll see. All right. Well, thanks for, for putting up with this. I'm sorry I failed, but I'm going to pick myself up tomorrow or the next day, whenever, maybe not tomorrow, but probably, but 
you know, we never know. It's not like written in stone what has to be done. But uh, we'll see what happens. All right. Well, thanks for watching and uh, have a nice day.